Ah, the sea. Now you see, it's the perfect place for a boat, a vehicle designed to go on water. But it's not really the stomping ground of the automobile as we know it. Now of course there have been attempts to make amphibious cars in the past, but I thought I'd give it my own little attempt. So the tool I have at my disposal for today is a game called Stormworks. It's a game where you build shit. Sounds simple, no? And uh, normally, when I play it fairly casually, it makes me want to rip all of my hair out. So what I thought I would do is give myself one day, a whole day, to make one amphibious vehicle and then use it to cross some land and go through the sea. And if it's incapable of doing either of those, I lose. And since I have no stakes, that really doesn't mean a lot. It just means I wasted my time. So, um, I don't know how this goes because I'm recording this voiceover before actually doing the challenge. So, sit back and relax and enjoy my inevitable mental breakdown when it doesn't work. So, here we are. There's some terrain there that I can test my vehicle on in the immediate surroundings. Excellent. Where is the water? Okay, so there's a bridge here with a river and I can probably go off a cliff or something into there. So we've got some land to cross, we've got some water to cross, that's good. So I've got a basic sort of chassis here built. And my thinking is, I'm gonna basically build some sort of car, and then I'm gonna make it so it can go on the water. So I wanna make it sort of decent at being a car for the crossing of terrain portion, and then I will adapt it. So, I don't know, I haven't really seen amphibious cars before, so I can't tell if you normally would wanna start with the boat or start with the car. So what I'm doing is starting with the car. Right, so this is a bit bigger than I would want to build a car normally, but I've had to allocate extra room for where there's going to be, you know, stuff to um, make it work on the sea and on the land. So my thinking is, in this game, engines, you know, uh, what I'd want to roughly use on this is a uh, medium engine, so that's the size of the engine, but you've also got to connect up a load of stuff to it, which would take up all of this room, and then you've got to add up fuel. So what I'm thinking, just to save weight and time, is what I'll use as an electric motor, because that's all I need. But the downside to that is I need a lot of electricity to keep it running. So my thinking is I will just get some large electric batteries and put them in the back like that or something. So then you've got your seating bit here, electric batteries back there, some room for like some rudders and propellers and stuff or whatever down here when we get to that. But yeah, we'll make, we'll make this work somehow. It's gonna look kinda weird, but uh, what if I, you know, you, know the, you know the Pope? You know the Pope's car, where it's like got him in a box. What if I put the driver's position in a box? And then also that means I've got a lot of visibility here as well. So what I'm gonna do is, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some doors sort of here. And then what I've also done is so that um, if you're in an emergency, you've got like this little tray on either side of welding torches and fire extinguishers if anything goes wrong. And obviously if anything really goes wrong, you've Right, okay, that doesn't look too dreadful. If we just give it a little bit of detailing work, that should be perfectly fine. Right, let's see if we can take it for a test drive now, if the steering is done correctly. Yes, right, it drives. Let's see how well though. What I might do is just put some weight in the front. You can see it's actually a lot heavier in the back from where the batteries are sat. The suspension actually seems to be coping very well with the terrain. Overall, I'm quite happy with this, the way this is actually turning out. You know, with a bit of weight in the front, you know, this could, this, this could work. This could work. Just got to come up with a name for it now. Doesn't he look handsome? I'm going to name you Bertram. Bertram, Bertram drifts for days, man. Right, so Bertram drives pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. Right, we're taking Bertram on another test run. I've given, I've, 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 um, I've linked up those, um, those little side skirts, so now you can get in there if you need to get a quick like repair job done. 
and also you can now access the bonnet. What I've also done is, as you can see in there, there's a third electric motor. So Bertram really do be flying right now, but he's still handling excellently. He's still got that off-road capability, you know. Bertram really do know what it do. Right, what I've also just done is added this maintenance door so you can easily get back into the back here so you can do repairs or whatever on the two batteries. So what I'm realizing now is that um, I'm just I, what I've done is I've added this sort of um, section underneath just to make it more streamlined I guess and a little bit more durable. We might as well finish it now and then we're going to take it for the test and see how it sits in the water. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, he's done, he's ready. Bertram is ready for his road test. He's on his way. And um, I can see the, the the fins, they're turning when I turn the wheels as well, so that's all a good sign. So I set a waypoint to a bridge, I'm gonna tr cause that, well, that way I know where there's water that I can test him on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the road down, cause the road's clear from all the trees and I don't really wanna ram into any trees. Um, I'm gonna take the road and I'm gonna see if we can uh, See, there's the bridge. Okay, so I'm going to see if we can drive into the water from around this area. And then I'll switch to the ocean throttle. Well, it would be nice if, if I had like the ability to fold the wheels away, but given the way I built the chassis and stuff, I don't think that's actually possible. Oh, it's looking like there's a perfect spot here. So I'll just quickly do is remove that waypoint, because I don't need to go on the bridge. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. Does he go in? Does he go in? Why is he sunk? Apart from having a little bit more of a bounce in the nose, Bertram really is just absolutely tearing it down this way. Maybe, maybe in a future episode, I'll make it. I'll, I'll make a rally stage and I'll suit Bertram up with a proper, like, proper fast. Maybe Bertram can become the basis of a full-on series. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Bertram. Come on. Come on, Bertram. You got this. You got this. Bertram's ready for another go. We've got, I think I've linked the, the propellers up this time as well, so they might actually work. But let's, let's see, let's get, let's get him over there. But yeah, I, as I was saying, I think what I'd like to do in the future is use Bertram as the basis for um, making a lot of different vehicles that can all do different things. So what I'd do is have Bertram as like a rally car for a rally race. Maybe Bertram can become a tank or something, I don't know. Bertram can do anything he wants, anything he sets his mind to, because Bertram follows his dreams, and you should too. Come on, Bertram, come on, Bertram. You follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Yes. Yes. That's good. Let it rip. Oh, oh, we're getting a bit of... No, 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 Bertram, Bertram, stay off. Stay the right way! Bertram, what are you doing? <laughs> no! We were so close! We were so close! Bertram, please! 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 <laughs>